Hello everyone, Zeno is in here and welcome back to Dicey Warriors Gundam. Last time we did Domon Kashu story. This time we're gonna start off on one of the villains that we played this before because I wanted to shake things up. Grad's not shaking things up too much, but hey. Let's go. Paptimus Shirako. Skip this cutscene because the first cutscene is always the same. And so this is how it starts. Sorry if I sound a little bit sniffly. In fact, I'm through recording. I'm. I don't know if I'm coming down for a quarter. No, I don't think I am. But I might be. But I really wanted to record, so I was like, eh. Suck it. Suck it. Yeah, that's his whole thing. Conquer the southwestern base. I don't know what Rui's going on about. We literally said this was our base. So it makes sense we would know that. Now, if I said Amy just installed it, then that'd be something being like, huh, how do you know that? It's the enemy just installed it.
Now let's conquer field D. I mean, she's right to be suspicious, but she's got no suspicious. Her reasons for being suspicious are stupid in this. Cool has appeared. This is actually your first time fighting Monku, actually. That leads him to have the mobile suit that he gets that, that he actually uses, but. Parts. Dragon probably has one of the most annoying things is that fact that you'll have to keep going between Sarah, Rekawa and Rue. God, that was all he really was for. I don't think I've actually seen the O's level 4 special. Two has appeared. We'll have to eventually retreat back. We're taking down Puru too. Enemy main forces appeared. What are you saying? You were the one that attacked us. I think you're misunderstanding one another. Someday a woman should rule the earth. That woman will need to be as strong and bright as you are, please look up. Oh, did you say something? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
I love the one time. This is something that happens a lot in Dynasty Warriors Gundam, is that Shiraku tries to be a womanizer with varying, uh, varying effects. Actually, who's up there? Moran, Emma. Okay, so the big tray's there. I was not. I did not remember this map as well as I thought I did. Judo's having trouble, and yeah, we don't care about judo. We've conquered this field. Yeah, I don't like his low free special. I mean, it's good, but it's like, eh. And there we go, throwing it away. And this is where it gets a bit boring because honestly, there really isn't much to say about this part of the mission because honestly, it's Literally, we're literally just doing this so we don't have to worry about Sarah and Rekko because they can take care of themselves once we've dealt with these three. Hell, they'll even take care of that field for us. Great, I don't think that big trait ever comes into play. I'm actually going to go just destroy the big tray. See if anything happens if I just take it on instead. I don't remember the big tree doing anything in this mission. And by this mission, I mean I think Shiraku's version. Either that or I, uh, either that or I am not remembering this mission right. You can tell I don't like playing as Shiraku because the O sucks. At least in this game, because it's too slow. It's like. Depends is the to be alright. Alright, it's just there, isn't it? It's meant to be like this boss that you don't really care about, cause honestly. Rue's heading for the northeastern base. Judah's heading for the northwestern base. Because no one's stupid enough just to. <sighs> really, we're close to the end of the base. End the base. End the mission. 
defense commanders are deployed. Or commander. Because, like, even with a, a jump dash, it's awful. Got to take out ammo because. It's funny she doesn't even like. Judo defeat Emma, we're taking this. And that's another reason why we don't like playing this Shiraku, because Shiraku has some of the most just kinda of dull lines in this whole game. Also, I really don't like that the O just, just does this. It's the most boring mobile suit to look at in terms of moving. At least with the others, you start being like, oh, that's actually kind of cool when you start looking deep into it. But this, nah. Now let's just cut through them like hot a hot knife through butter. Defense system deactivated. Conquer Castle Town. Now trying to rush back before they activate again because I believe they recapture it, the defense system does activate again. There's not much else to say. Well, I guess I'm gonna say that Shiraku's missions are probably one of the ones where you have the most one of the most allies, honestly. This is an our mess. The good news is that we don't need to worry about dying because the O has the most probably the biggest defense of every mobile suit.
And with that, we start learning how much of a master manipulator Shirako tries to be. But that's it for this episode. Next time, we take to space and, oh my god. We deal with the satellite elevator and I think I know what this mission is and I hate it when I first played it. I thought the satellite elevator was the mission after, but no. Well, this is Zeno and Azuma signing out.